on the topic of mice, on the topic of money, ideology, coercion, and ego. Let me ask you about a conspiracy theory. So there is a conspiracy theory that the CIA is behind Jeffrey Epstein at a high level, if you can just talk about that. Is that something that's at all even possible? That you have, uh, basically this would be for coercion. You get a bunch of powerful people to be sexually mischievous, and then you collect evidence on them so that you can then have leverage on them. Well, let's look at what Epstein was doing. Uh, he was a, well, he was a businessman who then also developed a very lucrative sideline in being a, a high-level procurer, basically in supplying young girls. And he also filmed much of that activity. Um, I think his partner in this, Ghislaine, and I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. I think it's Ghislaine. Ghislaine? Yeah. Well, I've heard it both ways. Ghislaine or Ghislaine, whichever it may be. I think her argument at one point was that, well, we did this to protect ourselves. But this type of thing has been done before. There's nothing new about this. Getting influential people in compromising situations and filming them. Uh, I could give you another historical example of that in late 1920, actually early 1930s, just pre-Nazi Berlin, there was a very prominent uh, sort of would-be psychic and occultist by the name of Eric Jan Hannesen. Uh, he had a private yacht, I think it was called the Seven Sins, uh, and he hosted parties. He also had a whole club called the Palace of the Occult, which hosted parties where things went on, and, and there were cameras everywhere. He filmed important people, you know, guys like the brown shirt chief of Berlin in various states of undress and sexual congress. And he did that for the purposes of blackmail. So in Epstein's case, he is a procurer of young girls to wealthy men, largely. And many of those events were recorded. Now, even if it wasn't his intention to use them for blackmail, think of what someone else could do, because people know about this. So you could raise a question, is this not, you know, Epstein is just kind of a greedy pervert. But through his greedy perversion, He's now collecting information that could be useful. Who could that be useful to? Who would like dirt on Prince Andrew on the Clinton? You know, think of all the people who were there. And, and they, these, you know, there were important people who, you know, went to Lolita Island. So if it isn't Epstein directly, it he might have been being, I'm not trying to let him off the hook because I have anything for him. He was either running his own blackmail business or someone was using him as a front for that. I mean, I, I think we're kidding ourselves if we try to pretend that's not what was going on. So you think even American intelligence agencies uh, would be willing to swoop in and take advantage of a situation like that? Well, you know. Just in American, case. American politicians could ultimately end up in a position to oversee things like intelligence budgets. One of them might even become director. You never know. You can never tell what some crazy president might do it could be very I, look, one of the guys who understood the birth was was j edgar hoover j edgar hoover spent a long time collecting do dossiers and politicians how do you think he'd remain director of the fbi as long as he did because he systematically collected dirt on people so there is a history of this type of thing. And again, you could argue that's partly for his protection, to keep his job, to protect the, the sanctity and security of, of the Bureau. You can find a million different ways to, to justify that. It's really dark. <laughs> well, there is that side to human nature. Let's put it that way. Whether it's the CIA or the Akrana, maybe that's what the President of the United States sees when they show up to office is all the stuff they have on him or her and say you that that there's a internal mechanism of power that you don't want to mess with and so you will listen 
whether that internal mechanism of power is the military industrial complex or whatever, the, the bureaucracy of government. Conduct of the deep state. The deep state. The AKA. entrenched bureaucratic. Well, it's been said, and I think it's generally true, that uh, bureaucratic creatures are like any other creatures. It's, it basically exists to perpetuate itself yeah. and, and to grow. I mean, nobody wants to go out of business. And, then, and of course, then you get all of these you know, things like Pizzagate and accusations of one form or another. But here's an interesting thing to consider. Okay, and I want to argue that I'm not saying that Pizzagate in any way was real or QAnon had to say that, but, but where do they get these ideas from? So let's ask ourselves, do pedophiles exist? Yeah. Do organized pedophile organizations exist? Yeah, they, they, they share information, pictures, they're out there on the dark web, they cooperate. So, does child trafficking exist? Yeah, it does. So, in other words, whether or not specific conspiracy theories about this or that group of organized pedophile cultists is real, all the ingredients for that to be real are there. Pedophiles exist. Organized pedophilia exists. Child and human trafficking exists. At some point, at some time, someone will put all of those together. In fact, certainly, they already have. <laughs>